Alrighty, this is a quick review of the Vici VC9808 Plus uh, digital multimeter. Um, I'm an electrical engineering student at Penn State, and we've been using flukes all the time, which I've come to love. Um, but of course, being on a student's budget, I really can't afford a fluke. So, looking around online, I came across quite a few iterations of this the same type. I think another one was made by a company called Victor. Um, upon further examination, I probably should have went with that because apparently they're a little more uh, robustly constructed and perhaps even better internal components. But here's the multimeter as I received it. Haven't taken a look at the instructions yet. Uh, I hear they're written in cheap Chinglish, Chinese English. Uh, test leads are, they're okay. They're nothing to write home about, but they're better than what you receive with most of the cheap units. So, uh, nothing to complain about there. They get the job done. All right, there's the temperature probe uh, down in the box there, top heavy box, which I haven't yet really used. Um, I briefly tested it and it gave a room temperature reading of about 23 degrees Celsius. Uh, seems right about spot on. When I breathed on it, it went up to 33 degrees Celsius, which also I believe would be pretty good temperature reading. But the main reason I bought this was for the capacitance and inductance readings. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any little inductors with me right now to actually test, but we'll hook it up and test a couple capacitors, uh, some precision resistors, and see how this thing stacks up. So, let's give it a shot. So here, I have a tiny little electrolytic 4.7 microfarad capacitor in there. And of course, electrolytics aren't built to very high specs whatsoever. And it's uh, measuring at 4.37 microfarad. Seems pretty stable. Got a quick reading. Now, I already have a complaint. <laughs> the uh, test lead selection little insert slots there are nearly impossible to actually get the leads into. Um, so it might be accurate, and I was I was actually trying to get a, a reading on this uh, 1000 microfarad, which maybe I'll be able to. It's hard doing this with one hand. My apologies. So uh, let's see here. Maybe I can get a one-handed reading on it. Triple tasking. I can't even chew gum and walk at the same time, so... Okay. A well, little bit of a reading I got there. Pretty spot on. I'm pretty impressed with this. If uh, I could keep still, there we go. Yeah. Uh, the whole constant digit moving was uh, my fault. I kept can't get it. Can't actually get the leads to feed into there, um, especially one-handed. So my apologies. Can't quite test those big 4,700 microfarad capacitors. They're a little too much. Uh, this has a 2000 UF limit. Um, trying to think of anything else. I haven't tested the current capabilities or the inductance reading yet. But uh seems like a pretty good meter. The feel is nice. Um, this back plate here uh, is a little flimsy. Power. Even makes kind of the nice... Nice startup sound. Um, feels pretty solid. Nothing too incredible, but what do you expect for you know thirty some bucks? And uh, I know a big thing on these multimeter reviews is the switch. Switch is pretty decent. It's not a fluke, but again manage your expectations. Um, 
So that's it. I mean, as an electrical engineering student, I'm sure I'll be finding out more of the limitations of this, but overall, I think it'll suit me well um, and do pretty much all the work I need it to. Little kind of wish it had a micro amp display, but uh, I could get a more specific meter for very fine current readings. And that's about that.